just a little background on SI2. We are not uh, EEG veterans. Uh, we're about 10 years old. Uh, we're a small business in the, the, the Boston area. Most of what we do, or a lot of what we've been doing over the past few years, has been design of, of novel antennas for the Department of Defense. Uh, and these are conventionally fabricated. They tend to be built on uh, rigid circuit boards, flat or maybe somewhat curved. Um, but, but we have a, another technology that we've used for other applications that involves uh, dispensing of electrically conductive ink, as you see at the, the bottom left there. Uh, that's a, a, a silver ink that we can print using something called micro pen dispensing. Uh, and as you see at the bottom right there, we can integrate that dispensing pen with something akin to a, a 3D printer or a MakerBot. Essentially, we have 3D control over where we put uh, that silver ink. So effectively, we can print uh, circuitry on curved surfaces. You see sort of an arbitrary shape there, uh, but you can envision being able to print circuitry on the surface of a, of a wing, which is curved, a wing of an aircraft, or perhaps a, a, a ball, a, a basketball. So what's that, what's that good for? Well, it turns out that a few years ago, we had some other funding from DARPA uh, to develop <coughs> uh, some circuitry that will go on the inside of a, of a soldier's helmet. I'll hold it up here so you can see the, the inside. On that concave surface, there's uh, electronics there. A little bit different than your conventional flat circuit board. Part of the uh, electronics were made with uh, flexible circuitry, so chips and wires on a flexible Kapton substrate, and then we were able to place that inside the helmet. Um, but the other thing that we did was to extend what's on the flexible Kapton and print that silver ink, as I described, along the curved surface of the helmet. As you can see at bottom right, I brought the helmet so you can see the structure actually is curved. Uh, but there's silver ink printed between two different portions of conventional circuitry. So essentially what this um, electronic suite does is detect when a soldier has been exposed to conditions that might cause a, a brain injury. So for example, perhaps the soldier was close to uh, an explosive detonation, an IED, or was involved in a, a, a car accident, a Humvee accident. So uh, the, the, the sensors detect um, pressure changes that would result from an explosive event, uh, and there's an accelerometer in here, like in your smartphone, that detects uh, rapid motion. So what this does is tell us when the soldier's been exposed, again, to conditions that might cause a brain injury. 